And we're back with the Game of the World Grand Prix 2020 Japan at the Ryogoku Kokugi Khan. We have some K1 Super Featherweight action here for you. In the red corner, Kotaro Shimano taking on in the blue, Yusei Ashizawa. I'm Brian. And I'm Ross. Let's break this down. So, Ashizawa is the younger man by three years at 25, but the taller just by a bit, by one centimeter at 175. <gasps> Ooh, look at that steely glare from right. there. Yes, Ashizawa, even though he's just 25 years old, has already retired once in his career. This is his comeback fight. Oh, really? Ooh, beautiful one too, coming in there. Very snappy. Very snappy. Yeah, Ashizawa with a real interesting style. As you can see, he's super long. Um, he'll do a lot of no guard positions, real explosive, and he's got a lot of uh, good KO power. In his 21 wins, 13 of those are by uh, KO. Ashizawa's nickname is Problem Child Who Came Back. Yep, he's, he's back on the scene, man. Oh. Well, uh, After a short break in a rap career, I believe. A rap career, really? Yeah. Oh, he's eating shots here. Well, really, both of these guys um, are known not necessarily for their defensive prowess so much as their power punching. Right, well, that explains uh, Shimano's nickname, Wild Hard Arm. Yeah, well, uh, Ashizawa, there were some interesting shorts. He's got some, some fur hanging up the sides of the is uh, his shorts have got sideburns, I do believe. Yes, they do. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So, I don't know if it'll catch on. We'll see. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, you know, it looks like uh, caterpillars are skipping <laughs> Two little mustaches on the sides of the shorts. But, uh, yeah. Where I'm from, you know, we, we call um, sideburns by another name, which would be better served in that location of the body. So. <laughs> I see. Well, I yeah. won't ask. <laughs> Ooh, big overhand right there from Ashizawa. Slinging the heat with the long arms. Ashizawa is more open at the moment, more loose. Um, and I've got to say, his chin's a little bit exposed. I'd like to see it a little bit more tucked down looking for the eyebrows. But he's got some heavy hands. Yeah, both of these guys playing to the style of the often see. Shimano a little more rigid, but real heavy. Moves forward, kind of blocky, but tight guard. Ashizawa much more loose. Oh, look to catch a counter here, man. Mm. The way he's just moving his head, he's, he's always priming it. He's obviously got to take that play, as you would say. Yes. Um, he hasn't been in the ring for over a year, but he's really looking pretty good here. Yeah, you wouldn't know it. You really wouldn't know it. To be completely honest. Beautiful. Now, that's the second time he's looked for that overhand right shot. He tried to sell it up first time out, and that time he just chucked it to the shot and landed. Yeah, well, I'm sure that when they were matchmaking this fight here, they knew these guys were just going to throw the heat at each other. And they are. They really are. This is a far away entertainment um, fight right here. The crowd are getting them out of the way. Look at that chap, like a pistol. And yeah. you know, that's the thing. He finds, he finds a target, and you know what? He just chucks it again. Yep, no, that was great. And uh, that was just snapping shit on his head. But it's good for the judges, too. A good three points for Arsizawa. Now these guys are just getting a wild and uh, exchanging, and that's just kind of 50-50. Yeah, I've got to say, it's a 50-50. I prefer Shimano's work down to the body. Um, he was looking for that overhand right, but there weren't enough conviction on it. Yeah. Um, where Ashizawa, I've got to say, I love that Japanese throw. Yeah, it was. it had to be some of the cleanest work of the whole round was from that left hand, that left lead there of uh, Ashizawa. A few moments where he gets hit, and he just loses his balance, and it just looks bad. Um, you know, that's going to score more points for Shimano, but I think the jab was like, the cleanest shot of the fight. Absolutely. That was a flush shot, which he took well there. Mm. a very flush shot. And that's it. When, you, when, you, when you're swinging yourself off balance, it's not good for the judges. It's not good for the judges. Um, but to be honest with you, it was so obvious that's what he'd done. It probably won't play against Second No, I think you're absolutely Second right. I, I would bet both these guys don't have a ton of game plan here. Um, it's just... Get the fist to the face. Funny, Shimano's corner is rubbing his left shoulder. I wonder if there's some kind of issue there. Mm. We haven't seen much jab from him. Oh. Oh, some freedom mouthpiece here. Ah, yeah. He's uh, too busy talking and rubbing his shoulder. Yep. Good to have that guy. Cannot forget your mouthpiece. It was nice of Ashizawa to point that out. Yeah. 
But here we go, right back to business. You might want that for him, let's do it for you. Yeah. He's always getting long, but he's not bringing his hands back fast enough sometimes, and he's just catching the hook. Uh, but Shimano throws a beat late, and he could just block it. Shimano is leaving himself out there. He needs to get a bit more snappy. Yeah, they're just, they're going for it here. Absolutely. Shimano needs to move now, he needs to move, because he's looking good. Landing that jam again is real smooth. That'll set up opportunities. He just needs to make sure that he doesn't eat one of these wild hooks from Shimano. Oh, there we go. He's had success with that right before. He's trying it again. Oh! Wow. Well, the showboating paid off in this case. It was a gamble dropping the hands like that, but it uh, allowed him to throw the punches out of the line of sound of Shimano. Absolutely. Dropping your hands like that means punches come from a different angle. If you don't adapt to it, then boom. Yeah, I, mean, I think Shimano's hurt here. He is hurt, but he's still marching forward. And I would advise it, but it seems to be paying off. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's the thing, yeah. You know, has been throwing a lot of punches, but he's also got great knees that he throws up the middle, too. And uh, if he's starting to warm those things up, Shimano's going to have to really be careful. Oh! Overhand, straight right, straight down. And it is often not just the shot, it's how you hit the back of your head on the canvas on the way down. Oh my gosh, yeah. Ooh, and the ponytail is a bit disheveled. Oh, well, I was going to say, he's looking clear. Yeah. I was going to say, Shimano was looking Surprisingly clear. clear there. That was a nice, clean shot from him. One for one. I think Ashizawa needs to start thinking about the fence because Shimano's not as hurt as he'd like him to be, and he's getting hurt himself. Oh, so smooth movement there. Yeah. You see, he's coming wide with his shots now, Shimano's saying, okay, I'm going to go straight down the middle. Uh, and now, yeah, Ashiwaza is just coming out like a tornado of fists and kicks. It's just... He's oh. going to gas, he's going to gas. There's not enough on this to make a difference. The word is spewing from Shimano's nose. Absolutely, he's, he's got his nose bleeding. It's good for special effects, but... Really, he's opening himself up here, and it's not good. Yeah, these guys are happy to just kind of gamble and go for it. Yeah. He is rolling the dice here. Ashi Zawa has to move back now, get his hands up. Yeah, he's he's gassed himself there. out. He's gassed himself out. Yeah. He's going to get caught if he's not careful. You know, you got to have one of these on every card. When you kind of throw the technique to the wind and you just blast, <laughs> turns a heart. Shimano is still standing. My, I don't but, know how. Oh. I don't know how. Look at the way he, wow. he just sits down in the ring. Did they stop at the last second? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. One second to go? Oh, wow. I couldn't tell from the time there. It looked like one second was left on the clock. What a flurry. That wow. literally was like a minute and a half of flurry in Kamasha's hour there. That was incredible. That was absolutely incredible. And um, yeah, it was so confusing at the end there. I, I wasn't too sure what was going on. <laughs> but what one thing we were certain about, Shimano could carry on. My gosh. Yeah, he is just spewing blood from his nose. That thing's probably broken. Yeah. What a finish. He's still in the corner. Uh, although I think he's absolutely fine. The accumulation of damage is going to take him a while to realize what happened. Oh my gosh. Yeah, look, he's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's okay. Just overwhelmed. That had to have been at the last second of that round, man. That's good to see. That's good yeah. to see. Lots of respect. But Ashizawa really rolled the dice there. I mean, he was, he was piling so much on. If he didn't get Shimano out of there, he would have been in a lot of trouble in the next round because he used everything in the gas tank. But it paid off. It paid yeah. off. Well, this is the uh, this is the style he's got, man, and this is why the fans love him because he wins big and he loses big and he just <laughs> lets it all hang out. Yeah, you know, you, you you might not be remembered as the best, but you will be remembered as the most entertaining. The ref, that's a I think it's a good call. It's a brave call to call it at that point, isn't it? Yeah. Well, he may not have. I mean, yeah, I, my gosh. No, a good, good stoppage. But you're right. I, I, I don't know that I need to see, need to see any more of that. No. Ah,皆さんありがとうございます。いや、本当みんな来てくれる人とか、俺のことを応援してくれる人にやっと恩返しできました。ありがとうございます。まあこんなもんじゃないんで、俺はまだまだあの強くなれるんで、それは分かってる
言う通り動いて勝てましたもっともっと俺はできるんであのまあゆっくりゆっくり喋った方がいいねじゃあいいやえー、っとじゃあまあこの後は木左衛門君と木南く君出るんで皆さん応援お願いします今日の K−1 は芦澤流星でしたありがとうございます Yeah, well, there you have it.、Um, that relatively short and sweet, too. I'm liking the, the mic game today, man. Nobody's taking it too long. And there you have it. The K1 World Grand Prix 2020 Japan, the Yo Goku Kokugi Khan. See you next time.